We get students with a, a quite a wide range of language ability and depending on their entry level they may need to do pre-courses with us or they may go straight on to a pre-sessional and we prepare international students to go on to courses at our partner universities. So students can arrive with um, around a B1 level which is the GSE 50. Most of the universities require the IELTS equivalent of 6.5, so a GSE 70 or possibly higher. We previously um, benchmarked as many institutions do to using the CFR um, and we found that the global scale of English was an improvement for us or an enhancement because it focused more on the needs of academic learners specifically and also particular in the area of writing where the CFR focuses more heavily on spoken production and obviously for students in a higher educational environment um, the ability to write concisely, clearly um, and in an acad using academic conventions was very important. So the aim is that um, by giving students greater clarity and visibility of what it is exactly they need to be able to demonstrate to prove that they've reached the required level for entry to the university um, and giving them access to practice and support materials based around those key skills, we can see a greater focus for students and make it clearer exactly what it is they have to achieve. Using the global scale of English for academic learners, um, I took the learning objectives for the entry level and the exit level that was required for or relevant for our students um, and I mapped them particularly by uh, the skill of reading, writing, listening and speaking and then within that the subcategories of the core skills that were needed. So for writing for example, um, things like note-taking skills, um, summarising, paraphrasing, organising paragraphs, using cohesion um, and we mapped those uh, core skills to those that are identified by external frameworks as um, key competencies that are required for success at university and from those we developed our learning outcomes for our courses. Um, using the global scale of English we were able to map them across the levels so that students could see within a particular skill area and a sub-skill area what they needed to develop and how the skill would become increasingly more complex. Um, from that we developed our course material in order to be able to support students and allow them to demonstrate that they had um, competency in these particular skills. We've held um, a number of training events in our centres uh, to familiarise tutors with the um, new revised module specifications, the learner outcomes and the accompanying material and the assessments. Um, we've also made it available for students so that it can be used as the basis of tutorials um, and enable students to identify which skills they need to practise and they then have access to the relevant um, training and support materials. Um, we've also held training with non-EAP tutors, as I mentioned, to make raise awareness there of what students can be expected to be able to produce on arrival and then later in their course. <laughs>